Hey everybody, today I'm going to be rating every game that I played for the first time in 2023. This is going to be a very quick video, so I'm literally going to be giving the title of the game and a rating out of 10. And just for a bit of clarity, I tend to skew a little bit harsher than something like Board Game Geek, where normally kind of a 6 for me is like a 7 for Board Game Geek, because I very rarely give 10 out of 10s out there. So... I played 137 new games, so um, let's get started. But before I do, I want to give a shout out to kienda.co.uk, who are my go-to online retailer. And if you use the link in the show notes or the QR code, then you can get 5% off your first order. But let's get cracking. I'm going to start with Woodcraft, which I gave a 7 out of 10 to. Uh, Sulla, 8. Uh, Amiitis, 6 out of 10. Uh, Locke, 6. Uh, Assyria, 8. Chamber of Wonders, 4 out of 10. Uh, Ethnos, 6 out of 10. Varuna, 5. Uh, Heat, 6. Spirium, 8. Dystopia, 3. Uh, Gift of Tulips, 5 and a half. Uh, Splendid Jewel, 5. Uh, Echoes, Two, uh, King's Dilemma, four out of ten. Uh, Stevenson's Rocket, I should have liked this one, but I gave it a four out of ten. Uh, Quo Varis, seven and a half out of ten. Uh, the Hare and Tortoise, an older game, a uh, five out of ten. Uh, Caverna, six out of ten. Uh, Royal Realms, six and a half out of ten. Uh, Lofferton, six out of ten. Fallout Shelter, four out of ten. Uh, Craft Wagon, seven and a half out of ten. Uh, Mosaic, six and a half out of ten. Uh, the Crew Mission Deep Sea, a five. Uh, Anomia, five and a half. Geisha's Road, a Hanamikoji game, six out of ten. Uh, Codex Naturalis, five and a half out of ten. Uh, Beer and Bread, six out of ten. Uh, Arcadia, seven and a half out of ten. Rise, eight out of ten. Uh, Trekking Through History, six and a half. Skyward, four. Ur, you are, three out of ten. Uh, the Tower of Babel, seven out of ten. Titania, six and a half. Darwin's Journey, 8 out of 10. Barley, 5.5. Wizards of the Grimoire, 7 out of 10. Manhattan, 7 out of 10. A, a Bluxen, also known as Linko, 7 out of 10. Bits, 6. Chozon, 5. Iki, 6.5. Uh, Castle Panic, 3. Circadian's First Light, 5 and a half. Uh, if Wishes Were Fishes, four. Uh, Jerusalem, seven. Uh, Abandon All Artichokes, four. Revive, seven. Uh, Princes of Florence, six out of ten. Uh, Lewis and Clark, six out of ten. Jorvik, seven out of ten. Maybe a seven and a half. Uh, Union Stockyards, five and a half. Uh, Coral, five. Galanus, four. Beast, five. Tindaya, five. Dune Imperium, six. Fuji Flush, six. Pyramids of the Sun, three. Uh, Namalia, seven. Paper Dungeon, five. Uh, Manila, six. Amon Ray, six. Footsteps of Darwin, five. Twisty Tracks, six. Saint Marlo, seven. Uh, Rossio, six. Alhambra, six and a half. Uh, Rescuing Robin Hood, five. World Exchanges, seven and a half. Maybe eight. Uh, Finca, seven. Rome in a Day, seven. L Living Forest, five and a half. Radlands, five. Treasure Island, six. The Number, seven. Valbara, six and a half. Uh, Dino World, or what, I think it's just called, oh sorry, Dinosaur Island, apologies, four and a half. Uh, Elysium, six. Chin, eight and a half. Spicy, seven. Splitto, six. Peanut Club, five. Uh, Bombay, five and a half. 
uh, East India Companies, five, uh, Black Friday, five, uh, War Chest, nine, La Granja, seven, uh, Ave Caesar, five, Lac Chadweep, six, The Golden Ages, six and a half, Ingenious, seven, First Contact, seven, uh, Herbaceous, 6.5, Cheating Moth, a 2 out of 10. Uh, Mycelia, 5.5. Royal Visit, 5. Pinata, 6. Framework, 7.5. Cuba, 6. Dragon College, 4. Olympos, 6. The What's Not Cabinet, 6. Delicious, 6.5. Sea Salt and Paper, uh, 5. Fart, 2. Uh, Groundbreakers, two. Uh, Moonrakers, six and a half. Uh, Green Team Wins, six. Three Ring Circus, five. Sunset Over Water, six and a half. Uh, Paragons, Age of Champions, three. Uh, Forever Home, six. My Shelfie, six. Pocket Master Builder, two. Uh, Dominion, five and a half. Uh, the Rich and the Good, seven and a half, maybe eight. Uh, Forest Shuffle, seven and a half. Uh, Ming Dynasty, three. Uh, Flamecraft, five. Uh, Wild Tiled West, seven and a half. Uh, Dragon Keepers, seven and a half. Kenjin, five. Dawn, five and a half. Compromat, six. Gnar, seven and a half. Five Towers, a six and a half. Trio, six and a half. Roll to the Top, six. Big Boss, six. Tiwanaku, six and a half. Time's Up, six. Herd Mentality, six. Archaeologic, six. And Alpu Harris, six. So that's it. That's all of the games that I played for the first time in 2023. I have played a couple more, but I'm going to tie them into next year's um, because I've already done all my top 10s and all my um, Chairman's Choice Awards. So anything I play beyond then is going to be eligible for next year's um, awards and lists. Now, apology, oh, I appreciate I went through those quite quickly. So if you missed a name, um, if you timestamp it, um, I will go back and um, clarify what that game is called. If, you, if I didn't pronounce the game um, correctly or if you misinterpreted um, what I've said, or if, if not what I've said is too is not very clear, I should say. But um, hopefully this has been a useful kind of one-stop shop and a good summary um, of my year. I have recorded content of most of these, or I will at least. So um, if you want some more in-detail thoughts, then um, check out my co- my channel for the detailed reviews of these games. But um, if you have enjoyed the video, um, please be sure to hit like and subscribe uh, to my channel and check out my other content too. And for everybody else, I'll see you next time on Chairman of the Board. Bye-bye.